Divine Truth Frequently Asked Questions Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. After God and your soulmate, is family and our children the most important thing? Well, I, see, I would say the most important thing is love, right? And, the, and love of God, love of your soulmate and love of your family are not mutually exclusive. In other words, love of God, love of your soulmate and love of your family are mutually inclusive. So you, you, yep. you wouldn't, when you, it's a lot like you, a lot of people seem to have this concept that um, you have some kind of priority system when you, when you love. You're like, oh, I love God first, love my family next and so forth. Now, while, while we could say that that is true, that the very important, most important thing in our future existence is to develop a love of God. And it is very important that you develop a love of your soulmate in your future existence. Those two loves are not mutually exclusive of loving your family. Yep. They are mutually inclusive of loving your family. They, they, are, they are inclusive, not exclusive. Now, I feel that this kind of question tends to indicate a misunderstanding about relationships that people have. They think that because I've said God is the most important relationship you'll ever have, that that means that when you develop a relationship with God, you will love your family less. And it's not true. Mm. You will love your family more because yeah. you have a relationship with your God, not less. All right? And they feel with the, it's the same kind of relationship with your soulmate. Once you meet your soulmate, that you'd have a relationship with your soulmate and that would mean that you'd love your family less. No, it means that you love your family more. The more you learn about love in any aspect of your life, the greater your ability to love your family, your children and other people. <laughs> Not mm. less. You don't have less ability, you have more ability to love them. Does that make sense? So I feel that we've got to be careful about this kind of questioning it even, because a lot of times this kind of questioning goes down the track of leading us to a point where we sort of say to ourselves, well, my child wants something from me, my soulmate wants something from me, so I'm going to give my soulmate the thing first because they're more important to me. And the child's needs might be that it needs some food. And you say, no, no, you're not getting any food today because <laughs> my soulmate wants something. Yep. So that, what's a ludicrous proposition, right? If we truly love God and we truly had received divine love into our soul, we would automatically love all of them. And we would notice the need of one and we would automatically supply this need without uh, denying the needs of the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. automatically.